All right, guys. Shit. So. Shit. All right. How do I do my tape job? Or my glove tape, whatever you want to call it. All right. Here's a tutorial. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Um, so these are things you're going to need. Some of them are optional. There's only two things you really need, all right? The only thing you need, got some gauze. All right, it doesn't look like gauze because it's all rolled up. Literally, it's a long ass piece of gauze. And as you can see, it's all rolled up. It's supposed to be flat. I can't even unwrap it. But yeah, there, there you can see a little bit. So yeah, gauze, all right, and athletic tape. Optional. I have tree sap or some other sort of stick them. And tough skin. I find this to be vital if you sweat a lot in your hands like I do. So, start off with the tough skin. Spray it on the front and back of the hands. Each finger. Let that dry. Take a swig of that intro workout juice. Blow dry for efficiency. All right, so now I have one end of my gauze, all right? Now this is just the way I do it, you know? I learned this from my teammate John Lorenzo uh, from Italy. He learned it from some of his European buddies. Uh, Maybe Vadim Devyatovsky, you ever heard of that? Or maybe Ivan Tikon? Ivan Tikon? Ivan Tikon? I don't know how you say it. One of my favorite throwers, honestly. But, um, so yeah, so you start, this is the way I do it. Like I said, this is the way I do it. This is, I don't know, just what works for me. I do the same thing every practice. Takes maybe five minutes tops. Five, three, four, five minutes, I don't know. There's an airplane. Um, so yeah, so you start, I pinch it. All right, now it's stuck onto that finger, and all I do is wrap it around probably, I don't know, I don't really count. I just go from halfway through this very top tarsal to about that second metatarsal down there. Then I come down to the bottom of the finger, wrap it around, go under. Now I'm wrapping it around top, same thing, work my way up to the top, top of that top tarsal. Carpal? Tarsal? The top of that minute, top, I don't need, I don't know, top of the top part of that finger, the tip of the finger. Sorry, I've been wrong this whole time. Working that way down. All right, once again, down to that second knuckle, to about there, come back down to the bottom, underneath, and a little tricky, because my ring finger doesn't move well, but, so then once again, back up to the top, to the tip of the finger, working way down to the second knuckle, coming around the outside of the pinky, it's a tricky maneuver, up to the top of the tip of the finger, coming back in, down, go about halfway, got a lot left over today, so, and then you're going to come back inside, inside, back around, and what I like to do is I cross over around the wrist come back up just like this so it's like a more traditional hammer glove and then this little piece of strings left over you just tuck that in all right so you got that you got your gauze base crucial necessary um, next take your tape get a little bit all right and once again, that's just the way I do it. Right here. On the tip of the finger. Come in. I like to wrap around, cover about. So just, just cover the edge. Because I'm going to come back around at down to the base of the finger. Coming back up. And I like to go so once down, once up. And then cover just the tip of the finger. Press that down. Alright. And that's all it is. And then I'll repeat that for the next, I don't know, for the next three fingers. 
try to get a little close for you guys so you can see. It's really nothing special. Um, most of this stuff is based on feel. Like I said, I found the way that works best for me. I know John Lorenzo does it a little bit differently. So, just like that. So yeah, as for the tape, I actually don't put it on super tight. I wanna be able to bend my fingers. Um, the first couple of times I did it, I made the mistake of wrapping it super tight and then your hands just hurt the whole time. It cuts off the circulation. Um, and even with the gauze, you don't wanna have that too tight around there. So, that's what the spray's for, it keeps it in place. So right here, last one pinky, down, this one's the easiest. Just two little quick wraps, back up to the top. And here we have my tape glove. And then to finish it off, I like to just take, I have this sap I got from John Lorenzo, this fine Venetian hammer throwing sap. So all I do is literally take just a little bit, maybe that much on each finger. It's honestly a lot. So right there. Well now when I hold the hammer, I only go three fingers inside. Oh, what is that? I only go three fingers inside the handle. So just like this, this is the way I hold it. All right, so I'll put that sap on there. It'll get nice and sticky. And then I'll be able to relax my arms. Uh, relax my arms nice and long. So that's how you do it. Advantages. I think I can feel the ball better. Uh, with that less padding, so like those big fat hammer gloves, not even fat hammer gloves, but those hammer gloves with the thick leather. I think if you can't really feel the hammer, then you're more prone to pulling on it. And uh, pulling on it, as we all know, is bad. But um, otherwise, yeah, so I can feel the hammer better. The tape has better grip than a traditional hammer glove, especially with this sap on it. Um, so I can relax my, relax my arms nice and long. Uh, I don't pull on the ball because I feel it more. Uh, honestly though, it takes a while to get used to. I started it last January and uh, it took till about March, till about March for my, my hands to get used to it. So like my left hand would just be hurting all the time because um, there's just that extra pressure on the knuckle. There's not that padding in between. So uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Could be wrong. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, it's really not that complicated. Uh, comment below if you guys try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, a lot of people ask me about this. I think I swear like every time I post a video of me throwing or uh, of my training or anything like that, somebody's always asking about it. So uh, just let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I don't think it's, you know, it's not a game changer. It's not going to make you throw two, three, four, five meters further. But um, for me, it's just a, it's a comfortability thing. Um, I think it does make a little bit of a difference, but honestly, if your technique's not good, if your weight room training isn't good, uh, you know, a magical tape glove isn't gonna fix your entire, your entire throw. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, have a good day. Uh, like this video if you thought it was uh, informational, if you thought it was what you needed. Subscribe to my channel for more informational hammer throwing videos, some more fun hammer throwing videos, maybe uh, some more awkward hammer throwing videos. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going to be posting on this channel, so whatever it might be, just let me know. I'm doing this awkward squat right now. Probably looks weird as hell from behind, but um, so yeah, like, subscribe, share. Thanks guys, have a great day.